Welcome back to Aratos. I have made a few modifications to things in between the last run and this run. I have named a couple of characters. We have Tomahawk and Bay's Night Hour Liches. And I have also given the Liches each Boiling Blood. I don't know what to give them for their second ability. And I've put them in a party with Doot Doot. I've kind of created a party that I want to try out for two Liches. And what I'm thinking is that the Doot Doot boy here can take damage in order to put on buffs on people and also to do damage himself. And then we can just constantly spawn and get rid of a single skeleton. This will make the party a little bit more survivable if we're rocking two liches summoning skeletons over and over again. Because in theory we can keep that skeleton alive, in theory we can keep the liches um, a little bit more alive and hopefully have them not die all the time. And it gives Doot Doot Man something here to do, and he can heal off of the healing from killing the skeleton. We could also slot him into another party, potentially. I also have, uh, you know, just kind of given everyone stat points and new uh, trinkets. Uh, I don't think anything is really new for the, the main four units that I've been working with, but I did create this party that I want to try it as well. A an actual stress party. Look at this. Frontline Mummy with healing every turn combined with cursing enemies every time he uses an ability. Should have maybe put this on another unit, but for now I just want to see how it works. We have a Shade who can do physical damage if enemies are low on sanity and can just, you know, debuff them and uh, buff allies. We have the Infested who's really good at, well, first of all, they have uh, a curse trinket that applies curse damage when enemies hit this unit, and also just damage reduction, because they don't seem that tanky. But we have the Infested, who puts curses on targets, and infinite curses on targets as well. And then a Wraith in the back that just pers put puts curses on targets, on multiple targets, while also buffing with the uh, Concealing Cloud, plus 35 evasion for two turns. So I kind of want to try this and just see how it works with a stress build. That could be pretty interesting. And, uh, you know, my th my thinking is the mummy in the front will hopefully take a lot, of a lot of the damage and heal off of the cursed bandages. And then later in the fight, we can always lunge forward with the... Uh, or lunge back with this guy? Yes, pain mirror to go back, and then void claw in order to deal damage if enemies are low on sanity. So this could work. Um, and I also have you. I want to try to use the Blood Phantasm a little bit. I decided to give them Jester's Visage and the Salamander Skin. An enemy receives 30 magic damage with each attack against the minion because they have quite a lot of health, quite a lot of armor, quite a lot of resistance. They have a personal heal. They can heal allies. And, you know, we can mark another minion who might be able to soak up some damage. This could be a pretty decent build. I also gave him a couple of Purple Bloods. I do think that the Salamander skin would work really well on a frontline Dark Knight. You know, get rid of Hero's Blood so that they can take damage on turn one, but they can reflect more damage back. And then maybe if you have Jester of Visage, the Salamander skin, combined with the Aura of Retribution doing more damage, then you could have you could have enemies taking like 60 damage by hitting the Dark Knight. They're very likely to target him, and they're very unlikely to do any damage because he's immune to crits and he has 15 armor. So there's a there's a possible strategy there, but I didn't want to override Hero's Blood, and I wanted to put this somewhere. So I just, you know, this this entire playthrough is all about testing things, because this is not on a super, super, super high difficulty level. And of course, we have our main party full of just total badasses who can basically handle every single mission in the game. So we got a lot of stuff here. And I I, I stand by these decisions as well. Now, the alt costume for the shade is very good. It is pretty good, Milk Jug. I kind of do like the uh, the gold look on this shade. Red would also work pretty effectively, but I I, I like the purple and gold. Black and it, black and red would work. Purple and gold would work. I like it. In any case, let's do a mission and let's use one of these alternate squads and see what happens. We are not going to be using you though. I guess the, the other thing is we could put the uh, Blood Phantasm in the front 
with this party instead of the the uh, bone golem. That way enemies are likely to attack you. We can heal you by getting rid of the skeleton and you also reflect damage and you can also heal everyone and you can also heal yourself. So there's a couple of options here, but let's try it with the bone golem first. And let's rock our two liches into this next combat and see what happens. Because I'm, I'm curious, I wanna see, let's do it. There's a lich item that makes you do less damage to allies. Correct, Motzilla. That would be really, really nice, because then you could actually use the ability to light enemies on fire, and then, you know, with two liches of skeleton, plus that ability, you would do uh, very little damage to you, but a lot of damage to the enemies. So! Skeleton it is. He's gonna have to, you know, bum rush forward with a block, but you know what, I'll take it. Take a look at these... Let's take a look at these minions here. You're an elite spell thief. Sorceress. Escapes if she's the last remaining squad. So she buffed everyone. Damage dealt by 30% for one turn. Attacks ignore resistance. And immune stress and ignition does not escape. Okay. What are you going to do? Are you going to buff someone? Creates a cloud. Deal stress damage to enemies that enter it. We could put a cloud down for stress damage. I don't see the point. Uh, we could also make them lose uh, their resistance, but they only have resistance and only two of them have resistance. No one has armor. So I'm kind of thinking, what if we just like buff some units and then start attacking? That seems like a pretty good idea. If we're going to buff someone, we could buff the, the liches. We could buff the, uh, the bone golem. I'm actually going to buff the other lich. I'm going to have them buff each other, and then they're just going to start kicking the crap out of these enemies with their uh, their attack. Their magic attack is pretty good. Has a chance of stunning all targets for one turn. Two of these units do have block. We'll have to get rid of their block before we really try this ability. It could be a very good stall tactic, though. Lots of stuns. We could try to buff someone with block and ward. I think what we're going to do is just attack, and we're just going to attack the Sorceress. Feels like that's probably the one we want to hit. We could go after the Blade Mistress, though. Alright. You convinced me. Brain. I forget what all these units do, though, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. Now, you have a buff, and you do a lot of damage. 60 to 61 to a random enemy. I'll do it. You attack the enemy with the most magic resistance. Not that good. You do a mass heal. So we do have to kill the sorceress first. It's kind of like the oracle or the um, the bard. Stance execute. At the start of the next turn, deal 250% damage to a random minion in the first or second position and moves them to the back. Does not miss. Well. That deals with that. Kind of an awful attack, but, you know, we have the Bone Golem. The Bone Golem can put up a block on a unit that hopefully won't get negated by, you know, this Golden Golem here. We have options. We have ways of dealing with things. Also, that ignores Ward. Should remember that. Easier difficulty just gives you slightly higher dodge chance and slightly higher virtue chance. <laughs> Wrong game, unfortunately. Um, uh, let's just move you forward. You gotta get into a position where you can hit. You're too far back. Thank you, Ward. So I suppose, well, you have the buff. You should definitely attack. I hate that you're actually hitting this unit because it means we should continue to hit them. Your frail body. But I really want to hit the sorceress. You. The thing is, the liches are very bad at targeted damage. You're just a you're just a base skeleton, huh? We could buff with uh, armor and resistance till the end of battle, and then maybe just uh, you know stall out this fight for a very 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 long time. I'd like to not do that though, and maybe try to one day kill the sorceress. I hate that you are stealing my mana turn after turn. Uh, let's stun them. It does deal damage. You do lose a lot of health, but, you know, we heal that slowly. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. 
We at least made one unit get stunned. You're debuffed. Minus attack, minus dread. Eh. I hate that we're focusing down this unit. I will admit, this party seems very bad at targeted damage. Because we, we cannot kill the minion that we're supposed to be trying to kill. Which is a sorceress, so I'm just gonna have the bone golem do it do uh, as much as he can. We could buff the bone golem, but I'm just gonna go for a hit. You know, buff his uh, block so that he can hopefully just not get screwed. This is going to take forever, so no jug. It kind of is, but I did this to myself. I could light everyone on fire, which really is not the end of the world. In fact, we could do that with the next unit's action. These guys do have ward, though. Ah, crap. Yeah, we can't. As cool as it would be to light everyone on fire, they have ward, so it's only going to hit us. It's going to hit uh, my skeleton, it's going to hit my golem. And you're immune to ignition anyway, so it's only going to hit one unit. Yeah, it's, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. We'll just keep hitting. Yeah, slow and steady. Admittedly, that's a very powerful attack. And that's a very annoying heal. The Sorceress is half dead. She is getting there, slowly but surely. And the Bone Golem has, like, probably like 20% physical resistance due to his trinkets right now. I'm like, okay, let's hit you. And I might just use a spell to kill you. The Spell Thief is stealing all my mana. I really hate it. I, it it kind of makes me not want to spend my mana, though, because if I spend my mana, then I'm, I'm spending my mana. Deal 25 physical damage. Deal 25 plus 9 physical damage. That would kill you. I'm not going to use a spell. I'm just going to attack him. Yeah, he also lowers my spell power, which... Eh, don't really care too much. Just annoying that I can't target the one minion I want to target. I also need to find a way of, of getting rid of the the stance. I guess we can just use a spell in order to move the, the skeleton back and that'll do it. That will do it. Could have also tried to stun, but hey, we finally have killed one minion. Oh god. So move you back. Strength through pain. Stun you forward. Interrupt the stance. I guess it's not actually a stun on the skeleton, it's just an interruption, which is slightly worse. Uh, we could kill an ally. Um, the skeleton has an action on this turn, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait twice. I'm going to let the skeleton act, and then I'm going to kill him. Because I don't, I don't really see the point in... You should go next. In killing the skeleton oh, before he acts, we should let him act once. They're going to get a couple of turns, but hopefully they just go for my skeleton. No, you're just going to knock out my ward. That's annoying. They love hitting the Skellington, but that, you know, damage reduction trinket is so nice. Because right now he has like 40% damage reduction. That's pretty good. It's keeping him alive, man. Also, do you just like crit every single shot? I don't... I, I think this Golden Golem has crit every single attack on this combat. I kind of hate it. So, you're gonna die. Because I need to heal. Hope disgusts me. And I'm gonna create another goal. There is one nice thing about this. The um, skeleton can interrupt stance on the first action of this turn. That's not too bad. And you know what? I can just have my own golem heal himself if he needs it. In fact, I, I am just gonna have him do that immediately. It's 20% health, which is which is quite a quite a lot. 40 health. 
He, it, this golem has gotten a crit every single attack. <laughs> Reduces critical damage received by 20%. Man, thank God I have the Nails of Pain on him too. That, <laughs> he would be dead if not for that, almost certainly. So I'm having my skeleton wait, just in case maybe we would want to interrupt Snot someone, but that does not seem to be the case. Um, you might as well just do some physical damage then. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have the golem heal himself, and I'm not going to kill the skeleton. I really should, though. I really want the skeleton to uh, soak up a couple of attacks on this turn and then get in, a, in an attack on his own. So I'm thinking, what if we wait twice, have you heal? Slow play it. Kill the sorceress, there's only two minions left. You know they're gonna hit the bone golem though, that's his job. Yeah, bone golem's a crit magnet. That was a nasty attack, these guys hit hard. And they crit every single attack, apparently. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. Kill Skelly. I'm sorry, Skelly. I'm doing this for the Bone Golem. Thank you. And then... I mean, we could attack. What I'm actually going to do is wait, though. If, if we can kill a skeleton on this turn and just kind of stall out again, I think I'm going to do that. And the reason being, the, uh... You're probably just going to buff yourself. I should debuff you. The reason being is, um... Yeah, if we can just stall out, I'll stall out. We need physical attack on these guys anyways. So instead of attacking, you debuffed. Minus 12 attack, minus 12 dread. Well, it's gonna happen. Six damage! <laughs> what is your attack gonna do? It's gonna do zero if it hits you and two if it hits you. Man, this is a not great turn. What we could do is buff. We could do uh, clouds, now that I'm thinking about it. This might be the time to put out clouds. Because by putting out clouds, we can make them take full damage from our attacks. And the cloud will last for only two rounds, but it's still probably worth it. And then I'm thinking, okay, what if we then wait, wait, in case we need to kill the skeleton. We will hit you and try to kill you quickly. You're stealing my mana again. I hate this guy. This is the wrong party composition for this fight, and also, I'm just annoyed. <laughs> At least we have, you know, four Lich moves right now, so <laughs> that's pretty good. I think I'm just gonna attack, 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 though. Maybe try to get a kill on the front line. I think at this point, my Golem is safe, is what it boils down to. But we definitely just need to do physical damage here. We just need to hit him. If that means killing the skeleton, so be it. Because th this is getting kind of ridiculous how long this is taking. <laughs> okay, please kill you. Buff. Approach into combat. Plus five luck, plus five attack. Well, I can debuff you with the bone golem. Might even be able to get, well, you have block now. Ah, you're annoying. You're very annoying. It's gonna stall out again, I guess. Kinda hate it, but. I'm also gonna stall with the bone golem. Crit for 29. Thank God I put the right trinkets on people. Please die. Just die on this turn. My oh are no. Number. Not my skeleton I summoned for this combat specifically. Oh no. Well, there's another one. 
Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh, thank God. As you were in life, There's only one minion left. Something in death. Just don't steal any more of my mana, you dick. Nah, that's the quickest fight you've ever had. Is this the darkest dungeon close enough? <laughs> well, hello there, XZZXZ2, how you doing? Okay, just, just finish him off. You had a 98% chance of landing that attack, you fool. Come on! How come he's not dead yet? Dude, I'm not taking his party out again. As as cool as oh my god, as cool as double lich build can can theoretically be, it just never seems to work out. <laughs> as your oh, it's been ends, done. Your service At the beginning of battle, gain a hundred wrath one time use only. Get me out of here. <laughs> Minions made up of four uncommon parts. Oh, lovely. That's another artifact I really do not need because a little bit of health doesn't really matter to me all that much. Where is it? There it is. Conditional plus 20 health. Or we could just have like robes of enemies lose a whole bunch of accuracy. So get rid of that. And these units, you know what? You're done. You're fired. What's coming up next? Another combat. Are we heading off to the right? Yes, I'm gonna hit the quest. So we are gonna go right. We're gonna be fighting two... Are, can, are these the units that cannot be affected by stress? Hold on. Living armor, they are. So going insane with the, uh, the skeleton is probably not what we wanna do in the next combat. In that case, I mean, we could still do it, and it'll make the other two enemies easier to kill, but let's... Oh my god, there's so many of those enemies that cannot be, you know, stressed out. But if we wanted to change it up a little bit, we could. Let's just get rid of the, um, the Skelly Lord, and let's bring in, you know, a tank. That seems like it'll be pretty effective. We could try this as a tank. In fact, let's try this as a tank. Let's try our... Bregimen Blood Phantasm, who has the ability to self-heal for 18 damage each turn. They can uh, put a buff on someone else that deals reflected magic damage, and they can heal for uh, 13 to 14 if they get hit. So like on turn one, I think you want to open up with this, except you have very low initiative, so maybe that's not actually going to work. We'll see, though. We will see. Let's try it out. I'm curious to see if, if they can they can work out properly here. Fourth floor is just counter everything hell. Yeah, it definitely feels like we're being countered a little bit. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. You have ignores block. I want removes block, please. Thank you. You're a little bit lower leveled. Elbando Hades, but you know what? It, 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 it is better, I think, because you're going to move first, and if we can knock out some uh, block on a unit, we can just do a little bit more damage. We're probably not going to hit the unit until we knock out their protection anyways, but let's just make sure we can we can knock the block off of someone and then smack the crap out of them to get like a turn one KO if possible. Has A played Darkest Dungeon? Dankest Dungeon. I have played Dankest Dungeon. See, our Blood Phantasm moves last. Hilarious. Um, but this Conjurus, looking like they might be able to be killed. The Elite Sorceress might, you know, heal or remove buffs, but if we just do this, we actually might be able to kill him on turn one. And in fact, this would be a perfect opportunity for um, the ability that's like, you can deal an additional damage if the enemy's half health or less, because they are at half health or less. But we are just gonna do this. And not quite kill them, but we'll get an attack before they do. They're gonna be healed up slightly, but they still have the debuff. We should be able to get them. So, how does the heal work? Oh, feature. 
death restores 33 health to allies. Okay. And you also took quite a bit of damage from that, too. 30 mana magic damage for each attack against the minion. So that, that only triggers once, not multiple times per attack. Good to know. Um, also, I really wish your initiative was higher so you could actually go into your heal state, but that's fine. You're a tank. You have pretty good defense anyways, and uh, you can heal yourself and heal others. I like it. Right, what are we doing? I'm trying to kill you. Well, maybe we'll crit. Thank you. First mistake. Opposing me? It's <laughs> that's so much better. Your last. So much better than the last combat. Like things are already dying. Attack three times. I think we're gonna knock out the uh, the block on the sorceress. We could let the uh, the ghoul do that and knock out the protection on one of these living armors first, but. In fact, that, that seems better. Because we're going to, um, we're gonna knock out her block with that one attack anyways. So you, what do you do? I think you should just attack and heal. You, you, you did one swing, but you hit twice and you healed for 18. That's pretty good. You need to be at the front to knock out the block. God damn it. Well, in that case, we're just going to kill this guy. Even though it can be uh, the target of a heal, it's like an AoE heal, so it's not that good. And in fact, you're not even healing, you're buffing, so you probably just screwed yourself. Feature. Increases damage dealt 50%, increased damage dealt by 30%. Plus 50% attack. Oh, we used a spell! Oh, I'm a fool! I, I completely forgot that that's how that ability worked, and I completely forgot that we even used a spell, so... You know, that's on me. We're probably gonna kill you though, so I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm also just gonna use Wrath. It 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 straight up just does more damage. Hope they will still it's more likely to get the kill. Now, you also heal five every turn. Why? Oh, because I have 75 wrath, so you heal five every turn. I understand. But what, what are you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna heal, um, set targets on fire until the end of battle. You have ward protection. It's a pretty good ability, you know, if you have nothing else to do or you don't wanna do a physical attack, but I also don't wanna do this. And also it moves you back to, which is kind of an annoying. Uh, we are going to just hit you twice and maybe get a heal out of this. I healed one. Still worth it. Let's knock out your block. Thank you. Oh, acid gland worked. Fantastic. Since acid gland worked, we, um... We could... I, it doesn't do anything, right? Because you didn't even have... You had a... You had resistance, you didn't have any armor, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much, did it? Whatever. Keep attacking, keep healing. I'm loving the Blood Phantasm so far. It's pretty decent. You know, 39 damage, that's multiple attacks in order to heal that, but, you know, it's doing its job, it's acting like a tank, it's tanking the damage. It is some healing that can happen. Do you flee? You flee. See, so yeah, you took a little bit of damage, but you lived. We have another hero's blood. At the start of combat, enemies lose block and ward. That's that's not better than what we have. What we have is gaining ward, correct? All minions gain ward. But all enemies losing one block is pretty good. Do we have something that also makes enemies lose? Yes, all enemies lose one block lose one block and one ward. It does replace our spirit spear, which means we're probably not going to be using it that much, but that's pretty good. Give everyone hero's blood. That's a pretty good turn one team if everyone has the same <laughs> the same ability. I kind of like that. Physical attack deals more damage or critical hits deal more damage. Your critical hit chance is not that good. We could raise it but uh, I do feel like just more raw damage would be better because we get more value out of it right now. It's 
It's only a 14% base chance of critting. I'm just going to go for the for the raw damage. It also increases your initiative by two, which is really nice. In fact, can we raise it more? You can't even raise initiative? This is the worst blood phantasm. <laughs> if you can't go first, you can't put up your buff, your heal buff. But I guess you don't really care about it on turn one, do you? Well, oh well. Anyways, I got more points. I Oh, we can put up a block finally on Bound Hades. Thank you. I could spend my my points here. Like, initiative on the Dampier seems pretty good, because we need to be able to punch through protections. And you give me um, raw attack or evasion. Give me evasion. I don't, I, want, I don't want them to die anymore. They do keep dying quite frequently in my runs, don't they? Don't they? I've also leveled up Black Falcon. People are leveling up, and i got to deal with it now. For each buff or debuff on the target, or deals more damage. Eh, give me the plus 2% crit chance, why not? Battle. So I have stat points, initiative, or luck. Honestly, I'm kind of just thinking, give me raw damage. That's kind of what I use these, these units for anyways. Your base damage is already pretty low, we'll do it. Right, next mission, what do we got? It's not even a mission. Dormant minions, oh lord. Let's see what we get. Oterra says, I got a game you might like, Wizard of Legend. Everyone always talks to me about Wizard of Legend. <laughs> I, uh, I like it. I've played it before. It's pretty good. The DLC was necessary to add more content, but, uh, it's not a game that I, I can play a whole, whole, whole lot of, I think. Gungeon, Gungeon is still the game that uh, that I like the most out of uh, all the games that I play. Just because I'm still having fun with it. I don't know who to take here. We could, I mean, look, I'm going to take a ghoul, and then I'm either going to... Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna sacrifice the ghoul. I'm going to sacrifice this ghoul as soon as we get the opportunity, I feel. Hold on. What you guys there? Pull you out, put... Let's put our mummy friend in there for some training. There you go, mummy friend. Good enough. And let's do the uh, the next mission, which is one person who cannot be made afraid, but three people who can be made afraid. You know what I should have done? Gotten rid of this on the, next, on the last combat. That we had no reason to have this because enemies being... Uh, we couldn't make enemies be inspired. Also, I I'm re I realized something the other day. I'm doing something wrong with this party. We need a vampire, because vampires, if I can find one... I, I, I never really pay attention to the features, but they gain six attack every time an enemy escapes or goes insane. So if we use vampire skeleton, and there's four enemies, that's like plus 24 attack on a combat immediately. We need to bring along this vampire. So we're gonna get rid of Twig Breaker for a moment, just to see how this works. And I'm going to try to just obliterate every enemy with this vampire, and it's gonna be awesome. That seems pretty decent. Have you played One Step from Eden? I have not, but I have seen it. I think it is not a game I would enjoy because I I don't love how focused you need to be in a game like that. Kind of why I also have um, a I have a appreciation for Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but it's it's not a game I can play. Like the amount of just total focus you have to put on on everything for such a long period of time just kind of it it, it makes it not super enjoyable for me. But I appreciate it, though. I appreciate it existing. Right. You go first. You've lost all your block now. You're going to buff the attack damage of these units, but they're going to go insane after the vampire goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to... If I needed to, I could grant Auspex forward, which means we don't need to have 
uh, this ghoul, we can have the other ghoul, and the first action gets rid of the block, the second action puts a lot of damage out on them, and the third action with the ghoul maybe, uh, or like the second action strips them, the third action maybe does a lot of damage if they're low on health, skeleton makes them go insane, etc, etc. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to put you into bloodlust mode, because we actually have the wrath for everything we want to do on this turn anyway, so we might as well just do it. You know, get it out of the way so we can charge more. Then you're gonna wait. You're gonna make everyone go insane. And then you have three buffed stacks of attack, which means you heal a lot of damage. You heal so much damn damage. Now, the Conjurus at the back needs to go because they're in Berserk. Um, and we can we can probably target them if we want. We need to get rid of the golden golem, but you don't you don't need to be hit with the uh, disfiguring flurry. You do need to get hit though. My kingdom comes. Wait, where did I go? I was pulled out against as the black falcon. You missed. You'll come you'll come out on a mission. You're still my my tank of choice. Don't worry. Okay, damage received is reduced, but damage received is increased, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 40% chance of any allies attack being redirected. Kind of annoying. That's fine. Uh, I also need the vampire to be forward by one. Can you move back one? No. So we're going to have to like spend a spell to move the vampire back up one. Strength through pain. Kind of annoying, but I don't want to use grand aspects dash forward. I just want to go in for some hits. You can only hit the front line, huh? You also, hold on, didn't we, uh, didn't we remove your immune to debuffs? I was gonna say, didn't we remove your protection? No, we didn't. You're immune to debuffs, my friend. We do deal 60 damage though. We can pretty quickly get a lot of damage dealt. No, oh, it was 22, still okay. I guess damage reduced when you're in your stance, but I can't really get you out of that stance right now, can I? So the ghoul, you're gonna wait. Skeleton. I guess you're just gonna hit this ward. You know, we, sh we should hit for the sorceress. Even if it redirects, we need to kill the sorceress so that she can't heal everyone. Uh, it's kind of annoying though, because it's gonna be very hard to get through all of this block that you've got up. Ignores armor and block. Lunges forward by two. I hate that this is gonna put the vampire... You know, the vampire being in the back could just throw daggers at the sorceress. Yeah, it could work. This guy being at the front is very annoying. Um, what do I have that interrupts stances? The, um... The Dampier can interrupt stances. We could use that. We should use that. Berserk is such a hard, uh, such a problem here because I can't hit the sorceress reliably right now. In fact, we just might want the skeleton to kind of block up right now in this turn. So you you can't wait. Could also go for a spell. I think we're going to because we we got it. We got to do stuff. We get we got to hit some enemies. And we gotta take out this Conjurus. She's Berserk. She's gonna take so much damage, this might be okay. Give them no I do hate mercy. that you make it impossible. Oh, you know what? The Skeleton could run forward and stun. Okay, Ghoul, wait. Skelly Man, please stun this person. Apparently stun is a debuff. God damn it! Say it's a debuff game, help me! <laughs> help me! Oh, thank God, you crit for 194 damage. Now, what are we doing? Interrupt stances. Get rid of your freaking oh, stance, you freaking idiot. 
Debuff. Lowered attack, lowered dread. Don't care. You crit for two and you healed for one. <laughs> uh, I guess that's acceptable. Um, Ghoul. Ghoul has two actions. We can now get that Sorceress dealt with, I think. Pretty bad attack on, on that, though. Why was that so low damage? There you go. I mean, it's only crit for 72. Why, why, are, you, why are you not doing all that damage? You okay? You okay? I feel like you should be doing more damage. I don't, I don't get that. Uh, you're gonna block. You're a little bit low, and you're my skeleton of choice. You are just gonna keep tossing out those daggers. You hit for 56, that's pretty good. You still have 18 strength up, which is pretty awesome. And that's a lot of damage output. Critical hit heals. You could hit the backline unit and likely... It's actually not likely to get a kill. It could get a kill. I'm just gonna go for the hit. Make them suffer. It, it did crit, so it did heal. That's pretty good. Nine damage to the skeleton. Thank you very much for being so buffed up. And you're in stance again. So we, we need the Dampier to cancel that stance. So we're going to wait. You are just going to keep blocking. If if the uh, skeleton is in the back, you could also uh, stun forward. Except, hey, you can't stun this guy apparently because it's a debuff. We need to interrupt stance specifically. So there we go. In fact, we might just stress this guy out and kill him because nothing else is really working the way I would like it to. Become you crit for 100. The Mud, you crit for 100 by throwing your dagger. While holding your own heart in your hand. Lovely. It removed her buffs! Did, you dick! They keep removing her buffs. Oh well. So I think I am going to, uh, I guess, stress attack this guy to death. It's, it's kind of the only thing that really makes a lot of sense to me. It doesn't deal that much stress damage. But you will soon it's something. embrace your new existence. Might need some healing. Not a lot of other people here have stress dealing attacks. You did 61 damage by throwing your dagger. Man, the vampire is kind of kick ass in this situation, isn't he? I guess everything else we're gonna do is... Oh, you asked for it. The other thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna focus on the frontline unit and just... <laughs> we're gonna focus on the frontline unit and just stress kill this guy slowly with the Dampier and the Dampier is just gonna stay in stance forever. I really don't mind that. I really don't. These units are, are kind of annoying to kill um, just because of the fact that you're immune to debuffs and you kept Savor these last One. few You kept um, me from hitting all the other units. You did 61 damage. You also seem to like buffing yourself near the end of the fight. Crit for 20, that should be a little bit of stress damage. So you have zero stress, you might die due to anything. This is, is that going to kill you? No, not quite. Looks like. yeah, pathetic. I could rattle my armor, but we're just going to do a little bit of a block. It's going to hit you. You did hit for 49. We, can, we could kill this guy pretty, pretty quickly, I think. Oh, that's why we dealt so little damage. We were debuffed. That's why it was like 7 to 9 stress damage. It didn't, it didn't feel right. That's a lot better. Okay, Mine it worked. Is the winning <laughs> it was a little odd, but it worked. Six resistance. Minion is immune to debuffs. No, thank you. We're going to have to swap out our, our Skella Lord, but uh, we'll be fine. Put you in for some healing. Um, but yeah, the vampire totally works. 
you get that sweet buff to your attack, and because you can heal off of 50% of damage dealt, plus 18 attack or plus 24 attack is plus 9 to 12 healing every single turn just by making all the enemies go insane, which we're doing anyways because this is such a broken combo. I like it. I like it. Who's coming up next? Uh, one armor, a spell thief, a buffer, and another guard. Basically the same fight we had last time, just without the sorceress. Or without the whatever the hell that unit was called. So we're going to need... I think we're going to get rid of Mudblood. We're going to put back in Twig Breaker because we need to be able to hit the back line. Everyone here can hit the back line except for the tank who's going to be just staying up at the front anyways. I think this is acceptable. Again, we could bring on the... Uh, the Blood Phantasm again. It did work pretty well last time. I don't know who I would rather have out on a mission, but I'm still gonna I'm gonna take him out again just to just to practice. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you're back in. <laughs> One day I won't be on the bench. Send me in, coach. Look, I'm just I'm pra I'm I'm we're 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 practicing. Eventually, one day you'll be on the front line. Plus 100 Wrath, you get 36 Spell Power. That seems pretty good. I do want, want my ultimate abilities as soon as I can get them. Increased amount of Wrath, gain in combat by 50%. That is really good. Summon a basic Shade, I guess if you're in a bad spot. Let's go for the blood magic. Yeah. There we go. It will be a messy slaughter. It will be a messy slaughter. Let's try this blood phantasm again. The Black Falcon really wants to go out on a mission. I tell you what, the Black Falcon, you're gonna go out on this on one of these two. 100 percent 100 percent But I wanna give my uh, my blood phantasm a little bit of a workout, because I'm still trying to see how they fit into the party. Have you built everything? I've built everything I can build. I, I'm just waiting for like 200 souls so that I can finish building some of the uh, the better constructions. But yeah, we're, we're nearly done building everything. So we can actually knock out your block protection immediately. That seems pretty nice. I can hit the back line with Disfiguring Flurry, but if we can just knock him out with the ghoul, we're just going to knock him out with the ghoul. So now we can just physical attack you to death and kill you, hopefully, as soon as possible. We could also focus, like, the Spell Thief or something, which is a good idea. Because if we could do that... Let me in the front for that. Um, if we could do that, uh, we wouldn't lose all of our mana due to this guy just being a, a total dick. But I think we'll be fine. Ignores armor and block. It's a good attack. Are we going to go for you first? I am. Reason is that a, a AoE crit from the... You missed. From the Bride, a.k.a. Twig Breaker, will probably get the kill. Yeah, you have no armor. Critical hits deal 225% damage, so it's going to do 50 to something. Ah, your frail bodies fail. Excellent. Also, hey, you have 50% damage bonus because I use a spell. I will always forget that with the living armor, but at the same time, I think it's worth it because it's so nice to get some extra damage out there. Immunity buffs. So that probably includes ignition. Immune to stress attacks, but not ignition. Give me a buff on you. I want enemies to hit you and then take some damage. Took six damage, the ward protected that. 
Okay, so resistance does uh, affect the damage reflection. Good to know. It is good to know. We did take a lot of damage there, but that is just because uh, this guy was buffed. 50% extra damage. A little annoying on that. Uh, should we stance? They have a lot of physical reduction. No, what we do do need to do is knock out that physical reduction. We're gonna go for the living armor first. Ah, I should have waited with the ghoul on a previous turn so that we could get this in. Yeah, because now I can't. I have to lunge forward instead of doing that. I, I could use a, use a spell. I really don't want to do that, though. I don't want to make him stronger. So I messed up a little bit here. I, I could buff you. Let these minions take some hits. Hopefully they don't go after my uh, my phantasm. That would be great. You just took 90 damage. I guess it is every attack is a reflected damage. So you took 90 damage by trying to hit my ghoul. <laughs> Dude, I'll take it. I'll take it. That was that was really good. One by one. That's exactly what I wanted from this. Vanishes from this world. So you are going to hit and heal. We're gonna hit you. That's a redirect, that's unfortunate. We should have used the stance all the stance block. That is my bad. That is definitely my bad. We still hit and we still healed for 18 though, but yeah, I should have definitely done the stance uh, interruption so we can actually, you know, hit the unit we want to hit. He hit once and killed himself. You hit for 34 though, so I'm glad you died, but you hit once and you killed yourself. <laughs> Good job. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna interrupt the stance. This will be your end. Then we're gonna hit. Immunity buffs. I, ima I imagine that's ignition. Zero damage on the reflection, that's fine. Um, you're going to... Give me a lunge. Give me a... I could light him on fire, but that's a debuff. Give me a buff then, so we can get even more magic. Ah, except it's not, it's only gonna do six damage on the reflection anyways. There's no point. Perish. I don't know why I'm doing that. What we should do instead is probably just hit with whatever we, we have that is just the most damage, which is this. It's gonna be annoying. It'll get the job done, though. 29 to 31. It's not gonna be a kill. Well, you might as well heal yourself then. This is even gonna kill you. It's only gonna do, uh... Oh, it could have killed you. It didn't. You have one HP. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. You're dead. Soon this world will be mine. We get spiky head or spiked head. That's a great looking head. 30 stress damage with each attack against this minion. And another hero's blood. We have two of those. If no minions were killed, all minions that took part restore 20 health. That seems pretty good, actually. Just to get a little bit of, uh, of free regen. Okay, we got a couple of one-time use only artifacts. Let's just equip that one. I didn't get rid of the freaking shackles. I am a moron and a fool and I'm sorry and I know. Ironically, now we're probably gonna use the shackles though, but that's okay. What's coming up next? Mana or a heal? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'll just go for the mana. I think so we can cast a spell. Not that much, but it's something. Two armors. Okay, with two armors, we're not going to make him go insane. Let's use this guy. Let's continue to use 
Yeah, the damp here. Sorceress in the back, we need to be able to target. The ghoul is very good at targeting the back. The ghoul is also good at getting rid of the blocks that exist on turn one. So we're going to keep those. If we're not making them go insane, let's not use the, uh, the vampire. I have 200 souls. Very good point. Thank you. We have 200 souls. We can buy we can buy a new building. I can't buy certain buildings like um, like this building. I cannot unlock it because we have to beat the game to get this character. Uh, I could go for an extra part. I could go for an extra artifact. I could do extra souls, and I cannot do this one, the library. So there's only like three rooms I can unlock at this point in the game. Parts. Extra souls. Or this. To get uh, a better chance of artifacts. I like artifacts. I like parts. Let's go for the... Um, I mean, I, we could go for the parts because I have a uh, another ghoul. Alright, give me a ghoul. There you go. So now there's only two buildings that we can uh, we can unlock now. It is the obelisk for more souls and the dead lake for more artifacts. And then we'll be done. We'll be done with all of our souls. Uh, we won't need any more of these. So there you go. 